Well, I know this is the video a lot of people have been waiting for, and I haven't done this in like over a year. Um, we're in February 2019 now, and I haven't done this since January 2018. So now it's time for me to, to, to discuss my trip plans for 2019. Now I just want to let you know, I just want to let you guys know before we get into this that things do change. Um, amusement parks really change, and eighty percent of the parks that we're possibly that I announce on this list that is probably going to change, like eighty percent, maybe like ninety percent, or maybe one hundred percent. Probably not one hundred percent, but probably like ninety-five to like eighty percent things on this um, on this list that I'm going to be saying. That the parks I'm poss that I'm planning to go to that are possibly going to change, so um, things change, uh, and all that. Um, and another thing, also, don't forget to please follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet. Um, it's coasterbox underscore one. If anyone wants you guys want to follow me on Instagram, uh, because um, I will not be posting the confirmed dates on YouTube. I'll only be posting them on Instagram. So uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. So now let's get into this park. Let's get into these park plans for 2019. Uh, just so I have a couple trips planned for 2019. Um, I'm planning to do. Um, I'm planning to do a medium trip in June, so that is not too big, not too small either. A medium trip in June, and then in August I'm planning to do a small trip. Um, I'm planning to do like some sort of small trip in August, uh, and then I'm just doing like parks and stuff like that. Um, maybe I might also do maybe it's, maybe I might count of a small trip in April, but I'm not sure about it. Um, but yeah. So let's get into this. So first up, let's start off with February break all the way, um, let's start off with February break, uh, all the way to, um, December. So first things first, let's start off with February break. In February break, I'm planning to do a, um, an amusement park. It's an indoor type amusement park, and it's kind of small too. Um, and this is, this park is open year round. I found it this year. We were like, we were like looking into this park somewhere in the summer of 2018 we want to wait for the off season so then we're not bored during the off season so in february break i am possibly going to go to fun world game center it's a smaller type in a it's a smaller type of amusement park in N nasha new hampshire um it's an indoor amusement park they do have one credit up there which i believe it's an orient express um yeah, so I believe they have, um, um, I believe they have, like, one credit up there, which is some sort of, like, uh, Orient Express, um, like, it's kind of like what Canopy Lake Park has, um, something like what Canopy Lake Park has, so, um, yeah, they have a, they have an Orient Express, um, at this park, and they're out there. I'm looking at this. I'm looking right now at this park, and this park has an entrance, like shaped of a castle. So, yeah. Uh, so February is done. March, I'm planning to do mountain coasters. I mean, this is a possibility that I might be busy in March. I'm not sure, but um, I could possibly be doing mountain coasters. I might be going to like. Massachusetts, like Western Mass or Vermont, to do mountain coasters. I love to ride some mountain coasters. Um, I heard uh, Massachusetts has Jimmy's Peak as a mountain resort, mountain resort park, um, right over there, and you also have um, Berkshire East as well. So you have Jimmy's Peak. Um, not, uh, it's not Jay's Peak, but it's Jimmy's Peak. Jay's Peak's in Vermont, but Jimmy's Peak is um. Uh, is a uh, a mountain resort in um, New Hampshire. So yep. So after that, we are now into April. An April break and April break. I'm probably gonna go Six Flags in New England. That's my home park. A lot of you guys know that. Uh, I might possibly stop at at Edaville Family Theme Park. Now I'm not sure about this because RCDB is 
um, saying that Curse Splash, which was which is their coach that, that was that was supposed to open last season, they're saying that it's supposed to be open in 2019. So I'm not sure about that. Um, like it's definitely not going to open around spring break, but it's probably going to open around Memorial Day or stuff like that once the weather warms up. Uh, and then in um, on April break, I might this might be possibly like I said things change. I might possibly do this park, I might not. So this is possible, and we might in April break we might stop to New Jersey and check out Mall of America, which is um, home to um, which is like like which is like a um. Like a theme park in a mall. So they're getting the uh, world's steepest coaster. Um, they're getting the world's uh, steepest coaster uh, at Nickelodeon's Universe theme park. Uh, the name of the... It's going to be like a Takabisha clone type themed ride. Uh, the name of the coaster has actually been announced. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called TMNT Shellraiser. So... And then Shredder is also going to be around that area as well, which is going to be like its spinning type coaster. So, yeah. Uh, and then maybe when I'm down there, I might possibly stop back at Six Flags Great Adventure. So, that's another possibility. May, I'm possibly going to do like Six Flags New England Late Compounds. Late Compounds, I haven't been there in over a year. So, it's going to be good to come back. June, uh, probably like the same rotation, Six Flags New England Late Compounds. Edaville, if Curse Splash is open. Um, but I love check out. I loved Edaville this year. It's a such it's such a small park, but I really loved it. So yeah. And then June we had this medium trip. Um, this is not it's not a big trip like what we did at Cedar Point, and it's not a small one either. So here I don't know if you can tell if this is a big big trip or a small trip. Let me know what you think. So first things first, we're gonna go out west. We're gonna do. Uh, Great Escape. And Great Escape is a smaller type theme park, and they have Common and everything. So, yeah. And then after that, we're actually going to go out to Darien Lake. And actually, before Darien Lake, this is possible. I'm not planning this at all, but this is possible. Though we might stop by at Seabreeze in Rochester, New York, which has a couple wooded roller coasters out there. I mean, that's possible. Um, Darien Lake in near Buffalo, New York. We're possibly going to check that out on this trip. We're probably gonna check out out if if we go on this trip, but Daring Lake uh, has Superman Ride of, uh not Superman Ride of Steel Ride of Steel. I'm not sure if it's gonna be renamed though because it's going to turn into a Six Flags park. I'm not sure if it's being renamed. Um, Tantrum also as well. Uh, I mean those are like the two not um, two coasters, probably good coasters there. After that, we're gonna be going to my second favorite theme park that I love. It's Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I love this park so much. I mean, you gotta love like Storm Runner, Sky Rush, Fahrenheit, good roller coasters. Yeah. Um, after that, we are doing. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be do going to a new park. Um, I haven't been to this park yet. This is Knobles in Ellisburg, Pennsylvania, uh, and they have Phoenix, which is a, um, which is I heard is an airtime packed machine. Um, Impulse. Flying turns as well, so that's pretty good. After that, this is possible. We might stop by back at Mall of America again, and we might also stop at Six Flags Great Adventure. Maybe before that, we might also do Dorney Park. Um, I've been to Dorney Park before. I love Dorney Park, so yeah. And then after that, we're possibly going to be stopping by. Um, we're going to be stop possibly be stopping by. Coney Island or Rise Playland. I'm not leaning towards that this year. Maybe next year, but I'm not leaning towards uh, Coney Island or Rise Playland. So that trip is done. Uh, July, Six Flags New England Lake Compounds. Possibly do that. I might maybe also go to Edaville. I'm not sure. Though, And then we have August. And August is a bit of a small trip. And I've been planning this for like years. I think I've been planning this ever since 2016. And I would love to like do this trip. This is northern New England. And I think this year, 2019, it's confirmed that we're going to be doing a northern New England trip. Which I've been always wanted to do. So, here's the list of the parks that we're going. We're going to be doing 
uh, six parks, three in New Hampshire, and three in Maine. So here we go. Um, in, um, in, um, um, so first up, we're going to go up north, do southern New Hampshire. We're going to be going to Canby Lake Park in Salem, New Hampshire, which has, I, I know, I want to go there just for fun. I mean, that's their slogan, too. Even though I'm not a fan of that park, I just want to go there. I love Yankee Cannonball. And you got to love Boston Tea Party as well, so yeah. Um, after, uh, Canopy, we're gonna be hitting two northern New Hampshire parks. We're gonna be hitting Santa's Village in Jefferson, New Hampshire, and I haven't been there since 2012. So it's been quite a while since I've been there. Um, they did get a new coaster back in 2016 called Poojee's Penguin Spin-Out Coaster. It's an SBF spinner. Um, and they also have another coaster, which I do have a credit, um, they got they have Rudy's Transit Rapid Coaster, and that's kind of a clone of uh, Catwoman's Whip at Six Flags New England. Uh, after that, we're gonna be hitting Storyland in Glen, New Hampshire. Uh, that park is so great. Um, next up, we're gonna be doing three main parks, and this is the park that I think I've gotten out of all the parks, it probably like in the world. This is probably the most request park. This is Fun Town Splash Town. I've been saying, I've been giving uh, a lot of comments saying, "Oh, JJ, why don't you go to Fun Town Splash Town USA? You live in New England. You should be going to that." Well, I'm possibly gonna be going to Fun Town Splash Town in August of 2019. So, like I said, uh, if you guys home park is Fun Town Splash Town USA in Maine, make sure to follow me on Instagram for updates about that. Uh, after that, and I'm can't I can't wait for Excalibur as well. After that, pa we're gonna hit Pal's Playland, which did have a couple co co couple coasters opening last year. Um, they had Sea Viper, which is a family slash thrill ride, and they all have, they also have they also got Wipeout, which is an SBF spinner. And our last park, I'm not leaning towards this. This is a possible if we have if we like feel like it. But this is York's Wild Kingdom, and they have one coaster, which is a Wacky Worm. So I'm not planning that. But it'll be nice to pop in there. August, late August, September, I'm planning to do like Six Flags New England late compounds. Uh, probably do that. October, Six Flags New England. Once like Fright Fest pops up, Halloween events pop up, we'll possibly do like Six Flags New England late compounds. And I heard Canopy has a really good Halloween event, so I might possibly go up to Canopy to check that out. And then uh, December, when when the Christmas events start opening we'll possibly do Six Flags New England and I would also like to do Edaville Family Theme Park for Christmas because I heard by people that that's a really good Christmas event Edaville Family Theme Park so yeah so that is it for my trip plans for 2019 like I said things change like probably like 80 or 90 percent on these on this list that I just announced are gonna change so don't be saying like, oh, I'm so glad you're going to Fun T Fun World Game Center in February break because I'm not sure if I'm going. Or don't be like, oh, you're going to Mall of America in April break. Yay, I'm so excited. Well, the, I'm not sure if I'm going to that either. So make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm not going to be announcing the confirmed updates on this you, on YouTube. I'll just be doing it on Instagram. So that is it for my uh, trip plans for 2018. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to meet me. Um, like I said, this is my trip plans. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for more Coaster Box. And I'll catch you guys later.